Mmm, there's nothing quite like meatloaf when you're in the mood for a comforting home-cooked meal. This recipe makes a hearty, veggie-packed meatloaf with a sweet and tangy mustard glaze. Be prepared, everyone will be asking for seconds. There are a few veggies to prepare. Finally chop enough fresh mushrooms to make half a cup. Finally chop one small onion to make about a third of a cup. Next, shred one medium peeled carrot. You'll need about half a cup. And last, mince two cloves of fresh garlic. Okay, the veggies are prepped, let's cook. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And line a three-quart rectangular baking dish with foil. Over medium-high heat, heat a tablespoon of vegetable oil in a large skillet. Add the mushrooms, the onions, the carrots, and the garlic. Cook and stir the vegetables until they're tender. This will take about four to five minutes. Then remove the skillet from the heat. Next, crack two eggs into a large bowl. Beat them lightly. Add one cup of soft breadcrumbs, the cooked vegetables from the skillet, a quarter cup of milk, three tablespoons of ketchup, one tablespoon of Dijon style mustard, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Mix this all together. Then add one pound of ground beef chuck and one pound of ground beef sirloin. Mix again until everything is just combined. Be careful not to overwork the meat mixture. This will ensure a tender meatloaf. If you like, substitute eight ounces of ground beef with eight ounces of ground sweet Italian sausage, ground turkey, or ground pork. Transfer the meatloaf mixture to the baking dish and form it into a rectangular loaf about nine inches long by five inches wide. Bake the meatloaf for 35 minutes. While it's baking, let's mix up the glaze. To a half a cup of ketchup, add a quarter cup of packed brown sugar and two teaspoons of Dijon-style mustard. Stir the glaze until the ingredients are combined. After the meatloaf bakes for 35 minutes, spoon the glaze over it. Then continue baking the loaf for another 25 minutes. Use an instant read thermometer to check the meatloaf for doneness. When the meatloaf registers an internal temperature of 160 degrees, it's done. Remove the meatloaf from the oven and allow it to rest in the pan for 10 minutes. Use two spatulas to carefully transfer the meatloaf to a serving platter. Cut the meatloaf into eight slices and call the family for dinner. If you happen to have any meatloaf left over, wrap it and refrigerate it. It will make a wonderful sandwich the next day. 